the mermaid uh, who's uh, reading this poet's poetry of David R. Smith, Smiling Whiteness, with Shakespeare, <laughs> part 35. After six months, on July 11th, after six months of six hours of meditation, start at the sixth chakra. Meditate 40 years, lose 40 pounds, practicing all forms of yoga, everything is true. The enlightened man does everything before it happens. He is a time traveler, he knows the needs of others before they do. He suffers no regrets because he has no woulda, shoulda, coulda moments. He arrives at the 40th year and year 39, thus ensuring its brilliant glory. He is the incredible shrinking man, slipping through the narrow tunnel in his third eye. Only those succeed who are liked by God on ordinary days. He has grand results on grand occasions as time is wasted. Death is the answer to all problems of the world in two ways. The world only sees my body while I seek to seem without my body. Death is the answer because the problems of the world in two ways because one is to die while living and the other is ultimately death cures all diseases uh, because you die and reincarnate. You know? To sit still and say your mantra takes miracles. Once one you must have human birth. These are all the miracles. Two, ability to sit up without pain. Three, unlimited amount of time. Or an empty stomach. Five, environment free of interruption. Six, play, you place meditation on top of priorities. Seven, so philosophically grown. You philosophically grown, adequate to rest to be alert. Goes to bed with the chickens, rises before the birds, operates digitally in is shut down off still for an aggressive aerobics or on aggressive aerobics balanced life with stillness and action this setting makes a difference the answer is to just sit and say your mantra but the setting makes a difference music and poetry can set the mood lifestyle and diet affects the outcome at the same time the practice can change the mood the other factor is habit and momentum Habitual mind shut down as opposed to habitual control by the mind's patterns. Hmm. A Mitchell, habitual mind shut down as opposed to the habitual control by the mind's patterns. Hmm. Interesting poem. My life is short and the journey home is very long, so let's begin it today. Even though you must go alone, you will run into other travelers on the way. Morning light is miracle enough for me. You can take your life force and mind together up and in. Don't let the world weigh you down. Experience the lightness of being. I left and found a big fat holy book inside me. I found my spinal column was a highway, which had an express train. I did my own digging and, like an archaeologist, found a site that confirmed the ancient text to be true. A mysterious self-sufficiency exists. To push the extremes, you need to manage the pair of opposites. Let's not forget the body before it's time. Nada Yoga will invent Hatha Yoga. Well, Hatha Yoga will lead to Nara Yoga. The self is hungry and its food is not of this world. It feeds in stillness. The state of consciousness is the end. August 30, 2015. Windy. It's windy. Hatha Yoga, my soul has taken up the path of Satmat, Santmat. My body has taken up the path of Hatha Yoga and Pranayama, raising up the Kundalini. It was once thought the soul could simply run away. 
but the hard reality is that it's still joined to the body. Until death do we part. Uh, in the meantime, the soul needs a base and then needs a boost. So in the off hours, I need an adamantine body, an alchemical body with the fourth state of mind, untying the knots with the seventh tissue. It's really vertical integration to support a longer time when I had a lot of time, was young. I took the shortcut, say, say uh, yoga. That's easy yoga. When I had a little time left, was old, I took the long path, hopping the yoga. To the yogi, their body is the world. Uh -huh. To the yogi, day is night and night is day. Yes, poem, October 26, 2015. Remember the blackness. If my gaze was fixed, I would remember the blackness. If my mind did not wander, I would remember the blackness. If my pose is fixed and my Simran is steady, I will go within. If the only journey is the journey within, then I should go within. If I sit long enough and my gaze is fixed and my pose is steady and my sin run unbroken all with effortless effort in devotion, then what will happen? If I choose a time when everyone is sleeping, then I won't feel compelled to do something. <laughs> sit still and put your gaze forward, practice Tratak, and repeat your mantra. Don't worry about the results, push your cares into a drawer for later. Thinking is associated with recounting the past or planning the future. So being in the present moment does not require thinking, so don't do it. Being empty, an empty stomach that is, one can fill up with the nectar of Nam. I'm looking for the brightest star, cross-legged, full lotus is best. I used to do half lotus one side then the other, but full lotus is better. For focus there is something about symmetry. That is harmonious. The flowers at the church were very beautiful. So I thought of you. Beautiful is my keyword search term that leads me to you. If with me you could take a walk, it is something about which we could talk. October, August 28, 2016. Green tea with jasmine white, soft rain falling, twilight, sitting, Buddha in mind, bliss. Seems the poem got shorter. May 3rd, 2016. With a spoonful of yogurt and a square of chocolate, and green tea with jasmine white. I woke up at dawn and started Tratak on a dark spot. May 4th, 2016, end of the poems uh, by David Smith, and the Smiling Whiteness, part 35, the poetry of David Smith, David Smith. A reading from <clears throat> David Smith, the poetry of Smiling Whiteness, the poetry of David R. Smith, poems that are a book that's published at Amazon, you can buy it at Amazon, so there's the book from the poet. We're reading from uh, Smiling Whiteness, the poetry of David R. Smith, part 35.